What's going on guys? I'm going to take you through a raw carnivore day of eating. The benefits of following a raw diet range from increased nutrient density, digestion, but by no means do you have to follow a completely raw diet or a raw diet at all to see the benefits of the carnivore diet. Everything I'm doing today can be achieved by cooking the food to some degree. Uh, you just have to consume a little bit more of it or be more mindful of other sources of nutrition. So I'm going to start my day with the higher nutrient foods and here we have some lamb kidneys and some liver. The liver is actually, uh, this is a piece of baby lamb liver and these very, these very tiny cute little kidneys are the baby lamb kidneys. I know it's a little cruel, you know, look how tiny they are, but uh, what are you going to do? So the kidneys I just soaked in water for a little bit just to remove any negative taste of urine and the liver I just sliced a piece off. We're consuming these two foods because they are really the most nutrient dense parts of the animal. Both liver and kidney have every single vitamin you need. They have all the water soluble B vitamins, they have vitamin C, they have all the fat soluble vitamins A, D, E, and K. There's even some omega-3 fatty acids in these foods. The main difference is kidney is a little bit higher in selenium and liver has a much higher vitamin A content. Otherwise, these foods are pretty even in regards to their nutrient density. So the kidney has a mild minerally smell to it. and a very mild flavor. These are actually the mildest tasting kidneys I've ever had. Uh, this is the reason I, I bought the baby lamb kidneys is because the younger the animal, the more mild tasting the meat is. And in the case of kidneys, generally they are pretty strong tasting. I think I'll save the other kidney for tomorrow. I'm not too hungry, uh, but we'll try some lamb liver. Super, I don't even taste this. This is so mild in flavor. It almost has no flavor. The liver was good. I don't know, I thought like, I thought I was gonna crave the kidney, but not really, but that liver, very mild, minerally. Uh, it, it's liver to me, to me, there's something weird about liver. It's like, I don't, do I like the taste of liver? It's not bad. I definitely don't enjoy the taste of liver, but when I eat liver, it's like I crave it. It's weird, it's like you're eating something you don't like, but you wanna eat more of it. To me, I haven't experienced it with any food besides liver, and it doesn't really make sense. To me, there's some sort of like, primal, biological, evolutionary thing going on where we just crave the actual nutrient that's in the food. So I think that really is the case with liver and why I like it so much, uh, even though I'm not necessarily hungry for it, but. I don't really want to eat too much more for breakfast. I think I'll probably just have one meal later. Uh, so in regards to like hydration patterns, usually I drink throughout the day. I don't supplement anything. Sometimes I will take some D3, but lately I've been getting, you know, I was getting enough sun during the summer, so I'm not too worried about that. In regards to the nutrients that I've achieved in this meal, I really don't need to eat anything else today. 
Maybe my omega-3s are a little low, but my B vitamins, fat soluble vitamins, water soluble vitamins, every single vitamin I need to be in optimal health, I've already gotten. I've gotten plenty of minerals, plenty of elements. Uh, I really don't need to include anything else in my diet at this point. The only thing that could be further improved upon from a nutrient perspective might be some more omega-3s in the form of preformed DHA from like fish or brain tissue, or perhaps the linoleic and the linolenic acids that we see in ruminant fat, you know, maybe the precursors to EPA and DHA. That's the only real improvement we can put in our diet. And of course, the macronutrient requirements, the protein and the fat that our body needs to build itself. So I will see you guys later when I have uh, dinner, I guess. All right, so guys, here's my second meal. I just got two ribeye steaks, decent amount of fat on them. Sometimes I do add some raw butter for some vitamin K2, but I'm not that hungry today, so I think I'm just gonna have the steaks. Just for the sake of digestion, I do usually try to chew it pretty well. One question that comes up a lot is telling the difference between grass-fed and grain-fed beef. And grass-fed beef usually will be a bit darker in color, but the main thing to see here is the difference in the fat. The fat of the grass-fed beef will generally be off-white to yellow in color, and it'll be very soft and creamy when it breaks up in your hand, and when you chew it, it's soft. It has like a mild, nutty, grassy flavor. If you ever try to eat the raw fat on a grain-fed steak, it's like off tasting. So I think that's all I'm gonna have today, guys. Just one steak, I'm not that hungry. Uh, as we went over earlier, we're really just getting mostly macronutrients, fat and protein by consuming more steak, but depending on the quality of the steak and the amount of fat on it, we are getting some more fat soluble vitamins, A, D, E, K, fairly decent amounts of the linoleic and linolenic acids as well. If any of you guys have more questions about the nutrient profile or the meal I'm doing, uh, just let me know in the comments. Overall, the only thing that I really could have capitalized on today was incorporating some higher omega-3 foods, but I just don't have anything on hand at the moment. And, you know, with the amount of high-quality beef fat we're eating, you know, I could have also had, you know, just a few tablespoons of raw butter here and there, uh, just for some more vitamin K2, as well as the linoleic and linolenic acid precursors to EPA and DHA. So, uh, that being said, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys would like to support the channel, please subscribe and share the video. If you guys want to check out my Amazon shop, I do have some cod liver oil on there. That is a great way to get nutrition without eating raw liver. If you guys want to go on my Patreon, I got a story about me, myself, what I do for a living. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Twitter. You guys can see more pictures of me eating raw meat or cooked meat for that matter. And last but not least, if you guys would like to reach out to me for one-on-one -on -one consultations in regards to optimizing your overall health, 
fitness, getting started on a raw diet, whatever it may be, you can send me an email, frankatefano at gmail.com or reach out to me through the form on my website.